I got a rocket. What's up, everybody? <laughs> Sup, y'all. It's Kevin here. It's been a while since I've been on camera, huh? Well, here we are. Happy 2021. It's been a crazy time. Over the holiday season, I splurged a little bit. My wallet got a little bit sad because I bought myself an espresso machine. More specifically, I bought the Rocket Apartamento. And I also bought a grinder as well, but you know, we'll leave that out of this video just uh, for the sake of the wallet. But when I was thinking about what to say in this video, did I want it to be a review or did I want it to be like an overview? Not sure. So um, I wanted to make it a little bit different from what we've all seen on YouTube about this espresso machine. So not going to talk about the specs, not going to talk about the price, whatever. But I'm going to talk about why I bought this machine and sort of the expectations versus reality of owning this machine after researching it for so long. So I hope you enjoy. Why did I buy this espresso machine that most people would probably say is overkill for use inside your own home? Well, I'd actually been using the DeLonghi Dedica for the past three or four years. And while it did teach me a lot about espresso and it did make me go read and learn about espresso in general, I thought this specific machine itself had a lot to be desired in terms of like pump power to make the espresso as well as steam power to make steamed milk for like cappuccinos and things like that. Additionally, I had been sitting on and thinking about uh, the purchase of the Rocket Apartamento for at least a year, probably two years, and I was kind of just waiting for myself to get over this hobby or whatever this fad was or my obsession with espresso so I could just kind of move on and never have to purchase it but it was something that I kept coming back to. So I thought, you know, might as well buy it. And finally, over the holiday season, Cliff and Pebble was having a sale where they were bundling an espresso machine and a grinder together and you get like 10% off or something. So I decided it was a good time to give it a shot. Cost wasn't exactly a consideration. I know you can make the calculations of, you know, if you buy X drinks over X amount of time, your espresso machine will pay itself back. But it's not something I really wanted to think about because I think people still have coffee with their friends at coffee shops. And yeah, I just thought it wasn't really a strong argument. And finally, I wanted the power of a true industrial espresso machine. I think my DeLonghi Dedica, while it served me well, um, just didn't really have a pump that was strong enough. So I had actually cut off the bottom of my DeLonghi portafilter so I could replace it with a, a true non-pressurized portafilter basket to try to brew real espresso. But if I ground too fine, it would actually choke the machine and the coarseness that I needed to grind to not choke the machine would be just way too much volume of espresso in way too short of amount of brew time. So I just knew that I wasn't getting true espresso and I wanted to get true espresso from a real machine. And finally, I wanted the industrial grade steam power from an espresso machine uh, of a higher caliber. So with the DeLonghi, uh, first of all, it didn't really have a real steam wand. And second of all, it would take me, you know, more than a minute probably to actually steam a pitcher of milk. But with the Rocket, it takes about 20 seconds and has incredible steam power. So that's why I bought the Apartamento. All right, so now let's talk about the expectations I had versus reality of owning this Rocket Apartamento. And the first thing that I'll start with is dialing in your espresso shots. So my expectation coming into this, especially with the DeLonghi Dedica, was that there wasn't that much of a difference between different coffee beans because on the DeLonghi, <laughs> I was just grinding to chorus the whole time anyway. But the reality is that every single different type of bean that you buy needs to be dialed in on its own. And this sometimes takes like five tries, 
sometimes it takes a lot fewer um, it kind of depends but i remember when i was first dialing in this machine i thought i was just tamping way incorrectly or something like that but actually what was going on was that i was just grinding way too coarse and i needed to go finer and finer and finer to finally get the 18 grams in 36 grams out over 30 seconds kind of uh, sweet spot and that's when things started to get more interesting all right so the next one which is more specific to this rocket apartamento as well as other heat exchange machines is the cooling flush that needs to happen i had read about this and so i knew about this going into it but uh, i didn't think it would matter too much but what i found is that uh, this cooling flush is actually really necessary. So when you pull the lever up after it's been uh, after the machine's been warming up for a while, you'll hear like bubbling coming from the group head because the water is just so hot from the boiler, and that actually needs to get purged. Um, sometimes if it's been warming up for a long time, I need to run this cooling flush for you know 15 seconds, but that's time that I'm like willing to sacrifice, and it's not a big deal. So yeah, that's the second part. Next, I want to talk about the taste of the espresso. And my expectation was that, you know, dialing, like grinding a little bit coarser, a little bit finer, wouldn't really affect the taste. And I also didn't think I would be able to tell the difference between different beans. But I was wrong. And maybe I'm just a coffee snob now because I thought those people who were able to tell the differences between like, oh, this coffee was fruitier or this coffee was nuttier or whatever. I thought they were coffee snobs. Maybe I am one now. But just saying, I think I can tell the difference between beans. And I'm actually surprised by how different beans taste. Between different grind sizes, maybe I still don't have that palette yet. But definitely between different beans, they definitely have different characteristics. So that's also something where expectation didn't really meet reality in a pleasant way. This is definitely specific to the rocket, um, the steaming power. And this is something where expectation <laughs> definitely met reality. So the steam power on this rocket is just so nice. And I love that I can brew my espresso and steam at the same time. Uh, it's no problem for the machine. And I can probably steam a pitcher of milk in 20 seconds. I should probably time this. And it's just so pleasant. And I don't need to like, I know with the DeLonghi, I needed to sort of preheat the boiler to bring the temperature uh, of the water up to steam temperature, but I don't have to do this for the rocket. So that's definitely a pro of the rocket. And that's where my expectation definitely met my reality. All right, so that's pretty much it for this video. I hope it was helpful and a little bit more informative than just a simple, uh, I guess, unboxing and review. But let me know in the comments if you have any questions. Uh, I'm definitely happy to answer them. I'm still super excited about this machine and I'll be making some more videos in the future, maybe some workflow videos or some more cinematic B-roll videos. Uh, so definitely stay tuned for that. But in the meantime, Happy 2021, stay safe, and I'll see you guys later.